Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 28th, okay? So, we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, right? And not every reading is for you. What do we have for a message today for the 28th? Or thereabouts. Parafont reversed. So, there is no faith, no trust. Lack of faith and trust. Somebody is under a lot of social pressure and they're letting society control their lives. Hmm. This is poor counsel being controlled by a father figure or somebody that is questioning their authority. We have a person that is not very spiritual and we have a relationship that is no longer on the same page. But there's disgrace. There's disgrace and embarrassment about following your gut and having faith and replacing that fear with faith. So somebody is in a commitment or a situation that is socially acceptable or it looks good but it's not making them happy so they are having a hard time breaking free from this commitment because of what everybody else is gonna say so and there's a lack of faith in themselves they don't believe in themselves and they're not listening to listening to their gut and they may have received some poor counsel maybe it's from a counselor who is uh, I don't know if it's a counselor or it's a friend or somebody that is, you know, goes by the book, you know, somebody that goes by the book instead of listens to their gut, says that they should do this, they should do that, when they should be actually following their gut. Somebody is, you know, under a lot of social pressure to do the socially acceptable thing when they should really be following their gut. Nine of Pentacles. Interesting. Commitment versus independence. We have somebody here that probably wants to go their own way. They want to be independent. They have the skills to be independent, but, you know, there's some sort of public embarrassment or something like that. Um, not wanting to break something. We do have a broken relationship here. So somebody could be, they could be choosing to go their own way. It takes a lot of mental strength. So somebody has the ability to take care of themselves. There could be, there could be a divorce that is coming up. There could be a split. There could be a separation that is on the horizon here. There could also be some public embarrassment, just saying. Anyhow, anyhow, the Nine of Pentacles is a person that knows their value, knows their worth, and knows that they can take care of themselves. This is somebody that is going to be or is enjoying the finer things in life because they have the courage and the confidence to do it. So... This is somebody that is single and grateful and happy. There could be an increase, an increase in money that is coming for somebody that has chosen to face their fears, has chosen to do their own thing. Ace of Cups. We could also have a, I'm going to change it a little bit, okay, I'm going to change this a little bit. We have a independent person here, somebody that is very independent, self-sufficient, enjoying their life, living the life of luxury, right? The Nine of Pentacles, this is somebody that has it all. You know, they're single, they like it, they love it, and they're not looking for a commitment, 
They're not looking for a commitment. There's a lot of self-love here. There could be an offer of love coming in for this person. Okay? We do have self-love here as well. Because this is self and this is love. So however you take this reading, self-love is needed before you should get into a commitment with anybody. If you don't love yourself, there is no commitment that is going to work. None. You have to be emotionally honest with yourself. This is emotional honesty. And listen to your gut. Somebody's not listening to their gut. And their gut is trying to tell them to love themselves enough to listen. Don't worry about what society has to say. It's better to be in alone to be alone than to be in a situation where there's any kind of abuse or control. Or if you're in a relationship that's not on the same page, it's better to be alone. You need to find your courage and your strength. To love yourself enough to break free from that if you're not happy. And that society controls your life. But if you're single and you're enjoying your life and you're grateful and you're not looking for a commitment, well, there could be an offer of love coming in. Okay? King of Cups reversed. So the King of Cups reversed is emotions all over the place. You may have somebody here that cannot master their emotions. They, they're, they're having a hard time. A really hard time. It could be a very, it is an emotional time with the Cancer full moon that's coming in. So they, right now, okay, typically for me the first two days before the full moon and after the full moon, those are the most, for me, those are very high energy. It's very high, you know, the energy coming in. The energy is very, very prominent, okay, during that time. So we have somebody here that is feeling very emotional. They're having a hard time mastering their emotions. They're in a relationship that is not on the same page. They're probably thinking about being single or they're thinking about somebody else that is very abundant, okay? There is an opportunity for love here does start from within. We have this person, somebody may not love themselves. They may not even know what love is. So anyway, it's definitely going to be an emotional time. There is a feeling of not wanting to be embarrassed, worried about what society is going to say if somebody follows their heart. Somebody's heart is telling them that they need to do something and they are ignoring it. They are ignoring it. Um keeping a secret, hiding their feelings. Somebody is hiding their feelings. Ooh, Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is painful. Suffering. Somebody's suffering. Somebody is suffering. They are hurting. Somebody is hurting. They, they feel betrayed. There's been some sort of betrayal. This is the this is the end of of something, okay? It's it's probably the end of a commitment, but somebody is still allowing themselves to be hurt. Somebody is allowing themselves to stay in this predicament even though it hurts so bad. It hurts so bad to stay in this situation. It does. This is this is the end though. It's reached the point of collapse can't do it anymore. This person is hitting the ground. They've reached rock bottom. This is overwhelming. Somebody is being overwhelmed by some sort of commitment. They are overwhelmed and they're hurting really, really, really bad. Oh, goodness gracious. So this is, this is, uh, the death of a situation. There could be something happening. You know, there could be something happening that causes somebody to, I don't know, they could say goodbye. They could say goodbye. Um, they could really make that choice to say goodbye. This is a breakdown. There could be a breakdown here. An emotional breakdown or a mental breakdown. Final decision. Somebody's making a decision. 
there is some sort of truth that is coming out. There is something, some, there is some sort of truth that is coming out. Somebody is going to be accepting the truth, seeing the truth. This is about doing the right thing, acting with integrity, even if it hurts. There could be some the news of legalities that are coming in as well. For some, there could be a divorce or a separation. Um, there could also be some drinking going on. And I know I'm changing the subject, but I, I feel like there's so, there, you could have somebody here that is drinking to mask their pain. This is drinking to mask their pain. There's having a hard time doing the right thing due to society, but this is about doing the right thing. So somebody may come to the conclusion that they have to tell the truth. And they may do so out of self-love, you know. They, they may get very emotional. They may get all in their emotions, right? They may get all in their emotions, you know, because they can't do this anymore. They've reached the point where this is too much. It's really too much. This relationship is not on the same page. I'd rather be single. I'd rather be alone, you know. Um, we also have this independent person here that is single and alone that probably isn't looking for a relationship at all that is enjoying life that has already experienced some sort of painful separation that is probably getting an offer that they don't trust. Um, because another person has hurt them. Anyhow, uh, justice is a card of doing the right thing. So somebody is going to be doing the right thing. Because they are in their emotions. It's very it's a very very emotional time. Somebody is going to be honest and upfront about their feelings. After they've been hiding their feelings. Ooh, Four of Swords reversed. Exhausted. Somebody's frustrated. They're exhausted. They may, may, they may be feeling empty inside. Extremely tired. Extremely fed up. Withdrawn, probably not wanting to communicate, going through some sort of emotional turmoil. Somebody is going through emotional turmoil. They need to make a decision that is right for them. They need to be honest and upfront with themselves. They've been in some sort of predicament or commitment where it's like killing them. The stress is killing them. This is a flood of emotion. Okay, it is. And their gut too. Somebody's gut is really saying, and they're not listening to their gut. Okay, this is intuition, this is intuition, this is intuition, this is not listening. Somebody hasn't been listening. And it's hurting them more and more and more and more. Things are getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. To the point where it's causing illness, it's causing sickness, it's draining them. Somebody is being drained. Because they're not listening to their God. Star card reverse. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? This is a lack of faith. Depleted. Depleted. Depressed. Come on now. Everything happens for a reason. We have somebody here that um, their faith is being tested. There's a lack of spirituality here. We have somebody here that isn't very spiritual, that just isn't seeing that they have another opportunity. And they're choosing to stay in some sort of, whether it's, I don't know what kind of commitment it is, but it is definitely a commitment. 
where there's, you know, a lot of pain. There's a lot of pain, a lot of pain and suffering. And there's no help arriving because you have to take action. Somebody has to take action. This is all happening because somebody is going against, they're going against what their gut wants. They're fighting the universe. There's a need to balance. There's a need to do the right thing, even if it's painful. So I do feel like we have somebody here that is in great pain because they are struggling to make the right decision because of their emotions. You know, they got to master their emotions. And I feel like they're having a very hard time doing so. Why is this happening? It's happening because it isn't meant to be. Fear has taken over. That's what this is. The star reverse is fear. Fear has taken over, has taken over somebody's life. Fear of being alone. It's better to be alone than to be in a commitment that doesn't make you happy. You know, when you have self-love, it's attractive. We have somebody here that is ill, they're sick, they're depleted. They're depleted by this commitment that they are in. Ha! Ah, this is seeing the light. This is becoming enlightened. This is a new day. This is a breakthrough. This is freedom. This is enlightenment. Somebody is about to become enlightened. They are about to see something. They're about to get some sort of clarity. And they will be accepted. So this is great health, healing, being accepted, bliss, seeing things clearly. Somebody is going to be receiving some sort of clarity. They are. And it's about love, because the sun card is about love. They're about, and you have the ace of cups here. Somebody is going to be seeing something. They're going to become enlightened with the truth. It's like they hit the ground. They hit the ground and they see this. Well, they see the light. It's a light bulb moment. Somebody is going to get a light bulb moment that brings them some sort of truth. It brings them some sort of clarity about some sort of relationship that they're in that is killing them. This is the end, okay? This is the end of a commitment. It is. Where there has been a lot of social pressure. Somebody is going to be seeing that they have to make a fair and just decision for themselves. But there could be some heart issues here as well. So somebody may, their heart is not being fulfilled and there is an opportunity for fulfillment. There's freedom here. Freedom from a contract it's a deadly contract. It is. Stress kills. It's about happiness. We have somebody here that is deciding to go for happiness. They are. They're making a decision to go for happiness. After they've been unable. They've been unable to break free. They've been suffering. I feel like this is the end of a hopeless situation where somebody is really becoming enlightened as to what their value is.
And I say breaking free. I mean, I see it anyway, but we have the devil reverse. So that is breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation that does end in disaster. This is a codependent relationship that is based on lust, greed, materialism, not love. This is things getting worse and worse and worse here too until somebody finds the ability to do the right thing. We have somebody that is closing off emotionally because they're not happy. But they're about to see the light. Good luck. 